हर यू इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस द सेकेंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बायो एंड सवा फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन वी फॉर्म द फील्ड एट द सेंटर ऑफ ए सर्कुलर रूम कैरिंग करंट बट हियर द केस इज लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट दट इज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑन द एक्सियल लाइन पॉइंट ऑफ ए सर्कुलर रूम कैरिंग स्टडी करंट नाउ आई कंसिडर ए सर्कुलर रूम हियर kept perpendicular to the plane assumed like that perpendicular to the plane of the board and carrying a steady current in such a way that as i look from behind the loop towards the point let this be the point then the current is flowing in clockwise direction so when the current is flowing in clockwise direction and is consider a length element dl for a plane by o n sub r to go that length element will be coming like this and the current flows like this so i apply the thumb rule and the field lines are formed to be going like this around that dl and from that dl at distance r let me take this distance to be Ah, distance the point from the length element. Then, as it goes, the field is going like this in a cyclic or circular loop. At this point, we can consider a circle of radius r, and that circle will come like this around. So, at this point, there will be a very small field dB, which is existing along this particular direction, tangent at that point to the circle. And that dB, I mark it here in the figure. But that dB, it is at 90 degree to this particular angle. It is at 90 degree here. So when I resolve that dB into two components, assuming an angle phi here, this angle also becomes phi. So that this will be dB cos phi. And this will be dB sine phi. Let it be there. Now, being a circular loop, I can start with another DL, just diametrically opposite to the first one. So, when I take the length element here, diametrically opposite, this carries current as it goes like that, going in two. So, I have a thumb rule like this, and there will be a Feel around this like this, and from here at the point P, when I consider the same distance R is coming, being an axial point, and at that point there will be a circle going around like this, and at this particular point I draw a tangent to that, and I get the same dB magnitude wise along this particular direction due to this length element carrying. I resolve that again. This is also angle phi. You know the reason. This is a conjugate and bisecting it. So this angle and this angle will be the same. Now here I resolve it into two: dv cos phi vertically downward and dv sine phi along the horizontal. So when I consider the two element and length. Diametrically opposite. I got the same component dB cos phi one upward and the other downward. So this dB cos phi and this dB cos phi will be equal and opposite, though the effect is cancelled. So when I show around this every point I take as dL, diametrically opposite to that there will be another dL we can consider. Thus so far. When I consider the whole loop carrying current, the vertical component of the field at this point will be cancelled. So here, a magnetic field is existing that is only along the horizontal direction, that is along this particular direction as per the definition of flow of current. So 
field at this point will be therefore B, the total field B at that point will be the integral of dB sine phi, I would say. And this dB sine phi is integrated from 0 to the whole circle that is 2 by E. This is what you have to work with. Now, from the center to the point x, the axial distance, let me take this axial distance as x. Now we move on to this particular case. So, as we understood, this is the case then, what is dB? According to bio x over 2, it is mu0 by 4 pi into I dl sin theta by r square. This is for the basic definition. But when you consider the direction of flow of current like this and the line joining like this, you can see the angle here will be always 90 degree. So it comes like this. So this angle will be always 90 degree. And as you take the region all around, that angle theta will remain 90. So theta equal to 90 degree. And distance to the point from all around, if you take answer, that also remains same, that is R. And therefore, dB, therefore, will be equal to mu0 by 4 pi into i dl by r square i dl by r square got it? Okay. now theta being 90 degree is constant and we are getting it like this now we put this one into this particular equation so as I put this one into this particular equation, what I get is, let me remove this one, I will be getting dB sin phi, that will be equal to mu0 by 4 pi into I dl by r square into sin In that one, 0 to 2 pi a because this is the only variable here and this dl varies from 0 to 2 pi a where a is the radius of the circular loop carrying current. Okay? Now, you integrate this, you get it like this that mu 0 by 4 pi into i by r square into sin phi into integral 0 to 2 pi e dl. Because all other quantities are constants as far as this figure is concerned. Okay? And therefore, that will be equal to mu0 by 4 pi into i by r square into this will be 2 pi a into this sin phi. This is the answer we are getting. But there is a problem. This sin phi we just assume so that we have to rewrite into other measurable quantities. For that, let me assume from the triangle, from the triangle, let me take this as uh, P and this as Q, sorry, this as O and this as Q, let it be. Then from 
P O Q. If you consider this, will be a right angle triangle. Well, from this point, if I take cos phi here, cos phi, sorry, when I take sin phi, we want sin phi. Sin phi, when I take, it will be opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin phi is equal to a by r. So when I write sin phi as a by r, it comes like this. A divided by R. So this A by R together I can write that B equal to mu zero by four pi into two pi i a square two pi i a square divided by R cube. Okay, then two pi i a square by r cube. Now, what is this r cube? R cube is this distance, but we got that measurable quantities, this uh, radius of the circular loop and the axial distance. Then r cube will be equal to, or r will be equal to from this one, r will be equal to root of a square plus x square by the whole sphere. And therefore r cube when I write it will be a square plus x square all raised to 3 by 2 it will be. So the field at the axial point at distance x from the center of the loop, you will be getting equal to 0 by 4 pi into 2 pi i a square by a square plus x square all raised to 3 by 2. Alright? And as the current is flowing along this particular direction, that means when I look from here, it's clockwise, then the field is going into the plane. Going into the plane of the prolapses. If it is like this, then it must be out of the plane, it should be. That we can determine using the function. Okay? Hope it is clear. That's all for the derivation.